Vanakkam and good evening. Joining us live on 6 p.m. Prime, I'm Akshita Nandagopal and I'm standing now in Singara, Chennai. Behind me is the iconic Chennai Central Railway Station, now known as Pureshi Talaivar, Dr. MGR Railway Station. Let's quickly get right down to it and get you all the big political updates coming in from Tamil Nadu. Remember, on April 19th, Tamil Nadu will be casting the awards in phase one. And you can see the political temperatures soaring here, even as summer temperatures have hit a new high across Tamil Nadu. Let's get you the updates from Madurai and from Coimbatore. In Madurai, Home Minister Amit Shah is all set to hold a mega road show, uh, a show of strength as the BJP has been going all out with these mega campaigns. You had the Prime Minister just a few days ago focusing again completely on Tamil Nadu with a slew of rallies and road shows. Now Home Minister Amit Shah is in Madurai. Secondly, you've got Rahul Gandhi also here in Tamil Nadu. He's not been campaigning as much as the BJP top leadership and that's because you've got Tamil Nadu already with the DMK and Congress. So Rahul Gandhi perhaps wants to focus on other states but he is here today. He's held a rally in Tirunelveli next there's going to be a mega India block rally in Coimbatore. You've got MK Stalin and Rahul Gandhi both standing together in Coimbatore. They will be addressing the rally there. Let's get you some of the highlights of what Rahul Gandhi said earlier in that rally in Tirunelveli and also what's the mood on ground in Madurai. Pramod Madhav is there getting you all the latest on Home Minister Amit Shah's roadshow as well. Narendra Modi says one nation one leader, one language. The Tamil language is no less than other, any other Indian language. Tamil is not just a language. It is the way the Tamil people understand themselves. And an attack on the Tamil language is an attack on the Tamil people, nothing less. What is the result of their ideology? The highest unemployment in 45 years, 83% of unemployed people are youngsters. India today is more unequal than it was under the British. 21 Indians have the same amount of money that 70 crore Indian people have. The Prime Minister is not ready to forgive their loans. Just because Mr. Adani is close to the Prime Minister and helps the Prime Minister, the ports, the airports, electrical power, wind power, solar power, defense industry, all of it is handed to him. And the entire small and medium industry has been destroyed by demonetization and a flawed GST. The Enforcement Directorate, the CBI, the income tax department are used as political weapons. The Congress party's bank accounts are frozen and the entire idea is to make sure that three or four of India's richest people benefit. And the entire idea is to make sure that three or four of India's richest people benefit from India. And when Tamil Nadu asks for money for flood, flood relief, you are refused. And the centre labels your request as pichai. When Tamil fishermen ask for assistance, the centre gives them nothing. Tamil farmers are forced to go to Jantar Mantar, they get nothing. The only thing Mr. Narendra Modi cares about is having a monopoly on the finances and the communication system of this country. Okay, so those are some of the highlights of what Rahul Gandhi said earlier in Tirunal Valley. And if you listen carefully to some of what Rahul Gandhi said, he's put the focus completely on Tamil pride, on Tamil culture, on Tamil as a language, and is highlighting uh, that, you know, the BJP is not focused on Tamil culture. And that really was the thrust of what the messaging was as far as the Congress's rally was concerned. Let me bring in Pramod Madhav and Shilpa Nair to get you the updates on both Home Minister Amit Shah's roadshow as well as what's happening in Coimbatore. Pramod, to you first, you're in Madurai tracking what's happening there with uh, Amit Shah's roadshow. Take it away. Has the roadshow begun? We're expecting all the top leadership to be there. 
Absolutely, Akshita. We are just like a feet away from the roadshow, sir. Rat, rat over here, and it was supposed to start by 6:10, uh, uh, like uh, PM. And right, it's a little bit late. We are all waiting for the Home Minister. The important aspect is that it is occurring at Madurai, one of the very ancient cities in the state of Tamil Nadu. And this is also on the first day of Chitra Tirunal, which goes for 10 days continuously. So BJP here claims that in Madurai Meenakshi Temple, they will hoist the flag. And similarly, the same manner, BJP flag will be hoisted in Tamil Nadu. This is what Rama Srinivasan, the candidate from BJP for Madurai, told us earlier. And so, like, people are here waiting eagerly. This is almost a two-kilometer stretch in a place called as uh, Netaji Road, Netaji Subhas and the Post Road. And it also ends at Vilakutun, a very old place in Madurai as well. So everybody are eagerly waiting for the Home Minister to come over here and, uh, like, meet, these, uh, meet the people of Madurai Akshita. Okay, so we're going to uh, track all those updates as and when they come in. Pramod Madhav standing by there. Home Minister Amit Shah expected to reach there any moment now. I want to bring in Shilpa Nair also on this because what we're also standing by for is that mega rally of MK Stalin and Rahul Gandhi standing side by side. The DMK Congress, of course, has an alliance. Uh, MK Stalin has been steadfastly with the India bloc as well. The messaging here is going to be extremely crucial, Shilpa. Uh, and, of course, there will be all of those pictures, all of the optics that will be evident in M.K. Stalin and Rahul Gandhi's friendship. Well, that's right, Akshita. In fact, uh, M.K. Stalin is one of the first leaders across the country to endorse Rahul Gandhi as a prime ministerial candidate. Uh, this was in the last elections, of course. And even in uh, 2024, he was the first leader to call for an alliance, a united alliance with Congress in it. In fact, uh, Stalin was the first leader who said uh, a third front is simply not possible uh, for this election for us to defeat the BJP. We need an alliance uh, with Congress in it. So, uh, therefore, there is, of course, a lot of chemistry between the DMK and Congress. Uh, their uh, alliance is also extremely popular on ground and, and that is the reason why Rahul Gandhi and Chief Minister MK Stalin will be doing a joint public meeting today and that too the choice of the constituency is very very important they'll be doing this public meeting in Coimbatore which is turning out to be a prestigious battle, a high stake battle for all the three parties in Tamil Nadu, for the DMK, for the ADMK and for the BJP uh, because BJP of course has fielded uh, Tamil Nadu BJP Chief K Annamalai from that constituency and for that reason it's it's a high-stake battle. The DMK wants to show uh, that they are capable of defeating Anamle, who's projected to be this young, aggressive leader of uh, the BJP. The ADMK, for the ADMK, they want to retain its a stronghold of the Congo region, especially Coimbatore. And for the BJP, they want to show that they've arrived in Dravidian land. So it's a high-stake battle for all the three parties, and that's the reason why, very strategically, uh, the India Alliance, of course, have chosen to do this public meeting with both uh, uh, MK Stalin and Rahul Gandhi in Coimbatore. The other rally that uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi did today was in Tirunelveli, yet another seat where we are seeing extremely tough uh, fight panning out between the BJP and the Congress. Remember, Naina Nagendra from the BJP is contesting from Tirunelveli. He's up against right. Congress's Robert Bruce. So there's a very political... Uh, a, a tough fight that's brewing there in Tirunelveli as well. So Rahul Gandhi, of course, focusing on these constituencies yeah. where so it's a high stake. constituency is extremely crucial for the DMK Congress. You're right in pointing out that Tirunelveli also has a very strong BJP candidate in Naina Nagendran, who's currently an MLA Coimbatore. We all know, of course, that right now it's Anna Malai versus Singha Ramachandran versus Ganapati, who is from the DMK. So that's going to be a very, very interesting fight as well. We'll be tracking all the live updates of Rahul Gandhi and MK Stalin uh, at the Koibutu rally and also Home Minister Amit Shah's roadshow. Let me just switch over. Pramod and Shilpa, thanks very much for joining us. Let me just switch over to the other big story also that's coming from Tamil Nadu. This is a controversy over the Tamil Nadu BJP chief, the candidate in Kondator, Anna Malai's campaign. Now, on April 11th, he's been accused of violating the model code of conduct. How is that? Because reportedly he was campaigning well past the uh, deadline, which is 10 p.m. Now, it's based on this, in fact, that there's a political war that's also broken out. It even led to a scuffle that broke out. Let's get you those details. Now, you've got, in fact, already Anna Malay, who's been accused of campaigning over and above, and a case has been booked against him for going ahead and violating the stipulated time allowed for going ahead and campaigning. Seven people were injured after DMK and CPIM uh, cadre members came together and started protesting against the BJP. 
This led to a clash, a scuffle in which seven people were also injured. Now, there have been several who've been booked for this particular incident. Anna Malay was also, in fact, uh, uh, who spoke on this, said very clearly that there was no question of any sort of violation being committed by him in the course of the campaign. Let's get you some of those reactions. Police has to produce a document to show after 10 o'clock I campaigned seeking votes. I sit in the office, I go in the public after 10. Does it mean the candidate should not go anywhere? Because you are that afraid? Is the state police missionary that succumbed to DMK? Are they that afraid of Annamalai? Annamalai should not even leave the room, lock him inside the room and house so that he should not campaign. Are they that, that desperate for victory? For Mr. Annamalai, he is above the law. The Prime Minister who spoke about Aganka and spoke about arrogance probably should give his gyan to Mr. Annamalai and ask him to adhere to the rules set by the election commission. If he is going to campaign beyond this 10 p.m. time limit, definitely people are going to question him. The election commission, which ought to have acted against this, is a mute spectator. Probably Mr. Anamalai knows that the election commission is in his pocket. That is why this blatant violation had taken place. Now, there's an all-out food fight that's also playing out right now between the BJP and the opposition, and it's spread to the south. So let me just put this in context for you. There was a video that first emerged of RJD's Tejasvi Yadav uh, eating fish, and it's considered to be a time of uh, uh, Navratra, of Navratri, really, in the north, not so much in the south. So during this video going viral, there's been endless controversy. The Prime Minister referred to it. There's also another video of Rahul Gandhi cooking mutton, which has also gone viral. Now, while the Prime Minister spoke about this, saying, look, opposition is propagating the eating of non veg during Savan, in the South, opposition leaders have latched on to this, saying, what's the issue? There's no such problem here in the South. Let's play out for you all the details in our next report. सावन के महीने में मटन बनाने का मौज ले रहे हैं वीडियो दिखाकर वो मुगल के लोगों के जमाने की जो मानसिकता है ना वो देश के लोगों को चिढ़ाना चाहते हैं प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी टारगेट्स द ऑपोजिशन ओवर डाइटरी हैबिट्स आफ्टर अ वीडियो ऑफ आरजेडी लीडर तेजस्वी यादव ईटिंग फिश वेंट वायरल Prime Minister Modi also pointed fingers at India Bloc allies Rahul Gandhi and Lalu Prasad Yadav for posting video of cooking mutton in the holy month of Savan last year. He claimed the opposition leaders don't care about the sentiments of the majority community. सावन के महीने में मटन बनाने का मौज ले रहे हैं इतना ही नहीं उसका वीडियो बना करके देश के लोगों को चिढ़ाने का काम करते हैं मोदी विदाउट नेमिंग द टू लीडर्स कंपेयर देम विद द मुगल्स जब सब मुगल यहां आक्रमण करते थे ना तो उनको सत्ता राजा को पराजित करने से संतोष नहीं होता था जब तक मंदिर तोड़ते नहीं थे जब तक श्रद्धा स्थानों की कत्ल नहीं करते थे वैसे ही सावन के महीने में वीडियो दिखाकर वो मुगल के लोगों के जमाने की जो मानसिकता है ना उसके द्वारा the opposition rained fire on Modi for commenting on food habits instead of focusing on issues like jobs and inflation. Artarika tweet. Navratra se koi vasta nahi. Savan ka ki upma kar rahe hain aap. Tejasvi ji to sabse yada naukri pe baat kar rahe hain Pradhan Mantri ji. Wahan kyu chup hain aap? Baaj aaye naukri pe baat kariye. Samajik suraksha pe baat kariye. I know how many MPs of BJP are eating non-vegetarian every day. I don't understand all these things. The only one agenda to polarize people on this thing. Now people are realizing in the country now. This polarization impact is not going to happen.
Modi also lashed out the opposition for boycotting Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha. Ram Mandir ke jo trustee hain, wo khud Congress walo ke ghar gaye, Indi Gadbandar walo ke ghar gaye, unke purane paapo ko maap kar diya, aur unho ne kaha, Ram aapke bhi hai, aap Pran Pratishtha mein jurur padhariye, samman ke saath bulaya, lekin, उन्होंने इस निमंत्रण को भी ठुकरा दिया। Hitting out at the Congress, the Prime Minister compared the Grand Old Party's manifesto to that of pre-independence era Muslim League। ये इंडिया अलाइंस वाले कितनी नफरत से भरे हुए हैं, ये इनके मैनिफेस्टो में भी नजर आता है। कांग्रेस के मैनिफेस्टो में तो बटवारे की गुनहगार मुस्लिम लीग की छाप नजर आती है। हिंदुत्व अपीयर्स टू बी द बीजेपी स्कॉलिंग कार्ड इन द लोकसभा इलेक्शन। ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे। एंड दैट्स योर क्यू देयर दैट द इलेक्शंस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन। वेर ऑलरेडी इन द इलेक्शन सीजन बट अप्रैल 19 इज़ द � uh, that's it from me on this broadcast. Thanks very much for tuning in. Monday, I'll be joining you with an Election Express episode from right here from Singara Chennai. Till then, Nandri, thank you for watching.